The fourth stop on the 10 race World Cup series was in Hotelco, Mexico, known for its hot, humid and hilly conditions. With the race starting at 5 p.m. local time to avoid the excessive heat, 28 women started on the beach for the non-wetsuit 1,500-metre swim. With races running out for athletes to earn an Olympic spot, South Africa's Marie Rabi is one of those and she started well. Switzerland's Yolanda Annan, a podium finisher here last year, was right on her heels with the majority of the athletes strung out behind them. It was Rabi first back to T1 after a fine swim with Annan alongside her as the two had a small advantage over the rest of the field and they were soon off on the 40 kilometer bike in the late afternoon sunshine. Mexico's Gabriela Perez led the large chasing pack into transition some 13 seconds back as they set out in pursuit on the hilly course. Rabi fourth in New Plymouth and Annan rode for one and a half laps on their own before the chase group managed to rein them in on the hill on lap two. Shadow started to lengthen, the large group descended toward transition, going at a quick pace. The top ranked athlete in the field, Ukraine's Yulia Yelostratova, wasn't having a good day. Not only did she drop one of her two water bottles, but also had a puncture and could only change the wheel when she reached the top of the hill on lap six. She was soon back underway and managed to catch up with the rest of the pack on the final lap. Ravi and Anna had still managed to stay with the lead group as they reached T2. It would come down to who had enough left in the tank in the hot conditions. Anna, who finished second here last year, was first off with a steady stream of athletes behind her. The Swiss athlete, who also finished second in Tong Yong last year, was soon setting a good pace and had managed to build herself a healthy lead. But as the race wore on, she was caught by Ravi and Poland's Agnieszka Jurczyk. Their nearest challenger was Jelis Dratova, who'd broken away from the rest of the field. On the third lap, Annan made a move and pressed the accelerator. Jertzik broke away from Rabi and is now running on a run in second place, while Yelis Dratova also passed the South African and will run herself into third. Last year, Annan took silver for the sprint distance. This year, over the longer Olympic distance, she went one better to capture her first ever World Cup victory. Jertzik managed to hang on to second across the line some 13 seconds back take her place on a World Cup podium for the first time. While credit must go to Yelis Tritova, who despite her puncher on the bike, turned in a great recovery to take third. New Ukraine with her first podium of the year after just missing out in Chengdu. So Anna was the winner, and Jeska Jertzik was second, and Yulia Yelis Tritova was third. I'm really, really excited. I can't believe it. I was so disappointed after the last race in Cape Town. It was a really bad race, and I don't know what I have. My goal here in Huatulco and uh, I can't believe it. I am very, very happy because it was a very important start for me. I fight all the time to uh, the ticket to Rio. Last nine months was uh, very um, stressful and uh, this podium is small uh, souvenir for me. Uh, it, it is my first uh, podium in my career. I'm so, so happy. I, I, I really gave everything for the best possible placing, but I couldn't even dream to be on the podium. I, uh, I was really happy to catch le leaders. I thought that maybe 10th place would be great when I catch them on the run, but I'm glad uh, I, I finished bike to already together with the group. <laughs> Presidente de la Federación Mexicana.